Jailed Malaysian ex-Prime Minister Najib Razak returned to court on Thursday for a second corruption trial over the pilfering of the One Malaysia Development Berhad State Fund two days after he began a 12-year prison term for graft. Najib became Malaysia's first leader to be imprisoned Tuesday after the country's top court rejected his final appeal in his first graft case linked to the looting of the One Malaysia Development Berhad or One MDB Fund. His incarceration comes four years after his election ouster over the scandal and was celebrated by many citizens as justice served. The current trial began in August 2019 and is the most significant as it ties Najib directly to the 1MDB scandal that has prompted investigations in the U.S. and several other countries. Prosecutors allege Najib pilfered billions of, U of dollars from 1MDB through an elaborate charade and then sought to cover his tracks. However, Najib says he's misled into believing it was a donation from the Saudi Arabia royal family. Japan's national police chief said Thursday he would resign to take responsibility over the fatal shooting of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe at a campaign speech last month. National Police Agency Chief Itaru Nakamura's announcement came as his agency released a report on how it failed to protect Abe on July 8th when he was assassinated in Nara in western Japan. The police report found holes in Abe's police protection that allowed the attacker to shoot him from behind. Nakamura said in Tokyo that he submitted his resignation to the National Public Safety Commission earlier Thursday. Japanese media reported that his resignation is expected to be approved at Friday's cabinet meeting. Meanwhile, the alleged gunman, Tetsuya Yamagami, was arrested at the scene and is under mental evaluation until late November.警察と致しましては、このような事態が二度と起こることのないよう、新たな体制のもとで、新たな警護要則に基づく措置を着実に実施していくことが必要だと考えております。人身の一心を図るべく、私自身については、本日国家公安委員会に辞職を願い出ました